Yeah, how about that intro? Been working on that for months. Uh, no, I'm kidding. What is up, guys? I got a, uh, this is Sage25. I got a gameplay real quick for you guys. Not real quick, it's like nine minutes. Annoyingly long and boring. Um, but I'm using uh, a gun that I haven't seen too many people use, and it's the Spectre. It's the last submachine gun that you get. Uh, and I really like this gun. Uh, I basically just wanted to feature a submachine gun that wasn't the AK-74U because I'm kind of sick of seeing that gun and uh, I mean it is the it's probably the best gun uh, best submachine gun if not the best gun in the game whether it's overpowered or not I don't really know there's uh, and I don't really care there's a difference between being a good gun being uh, the best gun and being an overpowered gun I don't necessarily think it's overpowered um, but it is good but the Spectre, uh, I just wanted to uh, put a game up with it because I really like it and I think people need to uh, give the other submachine guns a shot for sure. Um, honestly, uh, when when I played this game, after I played this game, I was like, sweet, this was a, a good game. Uh, I kind of want to post this, you know. We, we end up uh, winning it at the end. We kind of come back. We win for a while or we're, we're winning for a while. Uh, and then we lose the lead and end up coming back, and I get some kill streaks and stuff. Um, <clears throat> but after after that, when I watched it right before I, I did this commentary, hold on, let me get some coffee. Um, I watched it to sort of prepare for the commentary to see what was going on, and I'm like, I, I don't know what I'm doing this game. I'm like a I'm like a nub, like a noob, and. Uh, I mean, when I uh, I'm strategic in the sense that uh, sort of how I play, I, I play pretty smart, I guess. Um, I sort of like I'm not camping. I'm obvious. I'm obviously running around a lot, um, but I'm sort of being strategic in in the way that I'm running. Um, but at the same time, I I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally like later on, like I'm I'm just throwing stuns randomly all over the place and. Uh, I don't really know where I'm running, and I'm definitely not capping anything. This isn't the best example of being uh, an objective player. I tend to be uh, objective-minded, even if I don't necessarily do the objective all the time. But I definitely, you know, I saw Alpha flashing, so I head over here, and uh, I don't know. I guess I'm on a street. Oh, I almost have my dog, so that's why I'm not on it. Um, and then our guy's going to cap it right there. I'm also not in a party, so I'm, I don't... For one, feel obligated to really do the objective, and I I, I always want to win for sure. I always want to win, um, but when I'm with a party, I'll, I'll jump on the objective all day because I know people will cover me. Uh, I know people will jump on it with me. Um, but anyway, we'll end up uh, pulling it out in the end. But for a lot of it, I'm just running around. I don't know what I'm doing, uh, it, and it's kind of weird. I'm not sure how I ended up with a with a good score. Um, I was I was gonna talk about the gameplay the whole time, but then I thought about uh, something that's going on uh, in the real world that I kind of want to mention. I don't know if you guys I know it's been on some some news on a national level, um, but I don't know if you guys actually know about it. There's like a a house right uh, it's in Southern California, right where I live. It's literally uh, five within about five miles of my house. Um, where it's apparently like the biggest stash of homemade bombs in that's ever been found in the U.S. Um, and some some gardener, I guess, last month stepped on something in this dude's backyard and uh, and it blew up and he got he was taken to the hospital and stuff. He's all right. Um, but then there was this huge stash of like explosives and bombs and uh, weird stuff, even like weird stuff like uh, police uniforms and uh pistols and stuff or something like that um anyway they're supposed to burn that house down today and i'm not really i don't know if you guys can explain it to me i read a whole article on it but i don't know if you guys uh, really understand why you would burn down a house that has uh, a huge amount of explosives in it um when we have you know people that can you know, not only defuse bombs and and stuff like that, but but these bombs aren't even armed. I feel like they're not armed or uh, you know dangerous or anything. So I'm not sure why we can't just seize all the the stuff 
and uh, get rid of it or, or dispose of it somewhere that's not in the middle of town. Um, so it's kind of weird. That's a huge deal. The freeway right next to me is closed down and they're going to burn it down in just a couple hours. By the time I post this, it'll already have happened. Um, but, ooh, that was a nice nade, by the way. The double, uh, double defense nade. Um, so, yeah, I guess, like, there's going to be firefighters everywhere and bomb squad and uh, all that stuff. Um, and they're going to burn the house down. They evacuated people around it. And uh, apparently, like, literally they're, like, sort of um, jeopardizing people's lives. Like, because they, what, what I read in the article was that they, they don't know what's going to happen when they set the house on fire. Like, uh, they put some, I think some flame retardant stuff on uh, the houses around it and obviously evacuated people and shut down the freeway. Um, but they don't really know what's going to happen and if the fumes and the smoke and stuff, uh, they're, they, I guess, I'm sure they'll be toxic, uh, but they don't know exactly how toxic uh, or, uh, you know, if it'll put people in danger or whatever, I don't know. But anyway, that is, uh, if you guys know about that story, uh, or if you don't, you should look it up. Uh, that's going on uh, in Escondido, California, which is, uh, well, it's where I live, and the house is about five miles from my house. So I'm uh, chilling inside today, not inhaling toxic fumes. Um, so that's interesting. Anyway, uh, what else? What else? Are you guys excited for Christmas? I personally am excited for Christmas. Being down here in Southern California, it's like sunny and 70 degrees out today in December. And uh, I can't wait for Christmas. Um, I feel sorry for those of you that are uh, chilling indoors because you have to because there's four feet of snow outside or 17 feet of snow outside. I don't know how much. Watch this. Another, another nade. Clutch nade on A. Boom. Um, but shoot, like it's, it's pretty nice here in San Diego area. And uh, if I wanted to, I could go ski i've never been i've been snowboarding once didn't go too well but i can go skiing uh you know like two hours away or i can go hit up the beach if i want uh it is some good times here um but i'm definitely excited for christmas uh christmas is fun christmas is nice or i mean you guys uh hope you guys are excited for hanukkah i think that's already going on or whatever i don't know or uh kwanzaa which i don't even think is a real holiday but if you celebrate it, then I'm just sorry for saying that, but it's true. Um, I've never even, I don't even know, I think it's a made-up word. I don't even think it's a word, um, much less a holiday. Anyway, I got, uh, I put some dogs up, and I have two Hueys now. I'm going to throw a nade and see if I can get another kill on A, uh, but I won't. I'll just put my chopper gunner up. I'll speed this up really quick. And uh, there goes the lawnmower get through this lawnmower part really quick and um yeah this game is about to end shortly i hope you guys enjoyed uh let me know your thoughts on let me know if you uh, i kind of want to know just if you have heard about this situation going on in southern california or not uh leave a comment and also uh what you guys are doing for christmas um if you have any p vacation plans or uh, or if you don't celebrate Christmas, what you do celebrate. Or if you never celebrate and you're a depressed little person. Or a depressed normal sized person. Um, yeah. Anyways, be sure to uh, comment this video for sure and like it. And we'll get the lawnmower going once again. Uh, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Uh, check out my other videos, uh, and uh, I'll be back pretty soon with another video. Uh, be sure to uh, check out some other guns besides the AK-74U, please. Uh, anyway, I end up 41 and 4. Uh, I had 5 defends. That's pretty objective-oriented, actually. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Peace.